en question. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. I hand over the floor to the defense counsel for Mr. Kirsten Porn to put a question to this witness. You may not proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Monsieur le témoin, je voudrais que on en revienne uh, like uh, un petit peu um, à votre affectation au portail your uh, que nous avons évoqué tout à l'heure. We um, Est-ce que vous pouviez, vous pouvez préciser um, à quelle distance uh, exactly ce portail se trouvait du uh, centre de sécurité Est-ce que c'était juste à l'entrée du centre de sécurité, ce portail que, uh, auquel vous avez été affecté uh, à la fin de votre séjour à Kringtachan was the gate at the entrance uh, and at uh, the Quang Ta Chang entrance. As I mentioned already, it was about 200 meters or less than that. As I said, it was about 200 meters or less than 200 meters. There were only two entrances, the east in the east and in the west. And from the entrance, from the entrance to the uh, prisons, it was about 50 meters. Je vous remercie de cette précision. Thank you for um, clarification. J'en viens um, à un point que vous avez évoqué tout à l'heure, like que j'ai évoqué avec vous sur uh, uh, votre déclaration uh, D125-129. Vous avez indiqué que les miliciens venaient de différentes communes uh, avec des prisonniers. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez des noms de ces différentes communes qui envoyaient des prisonniers à Krangtachang. The commune and villages because they were across the country. Est-ce que la commune de Chiangtong, je vais appeler C-H-E-A-N-G, -E plus loin T-O-N-G, vous dit quelque chose Est-ce que ça vous rappelle, rafraîchit la mémoire Jingtong Kamyun was in Tramkop district, Takao province. Et est-ce que vous vous souvenez s'il y avait des prisonniers qui venaient de cette commune And do you remember if any prisoners came from that commune? Bad, can you mention the answer? I did not recall it. Je ne m'en souvenais pas. Et euh, ma dernière question avant de céder la parole à mon confrère Kung Samon, euh, vous avez euh, indiqué, répondant à mon confrère Copé, que Seisen avait euh, fabriqué des histoires contre vous. Vous avez expliqué que vous ne saviez pas pourquoi il fabriquait ces histoires contre vous. Ma question est de savoir si, au cours de votre séjour à Krangtachan, vous avez eu un problème particulier avec lui pour expliquer qu'il fabrique des histoires. I do not have any matters with him Je pas eu de and as for what he said, it is his rights. 
Et par rapport à ce qu'il a dit, eh bien... Me, myself, I took an oath before the Iron Statue, so I mentioned only the truth, nothing but the truth. I did not uh, state beyond what I did not know. It is all true. It is his right to mention whatever he wants, so I cannot make any uh, assessment on his statement. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président, et euh, je vais donner la parole à mon confrère. Uh, examination, Mr. President, and I will give the floor to my colleague. President, thank you. Please, uh, Mr. Kongsomon, you may now proceed. Council, Mr. President, Your Honours, uh, and uh, good morning, Mr. Strayton. I have a few questions for you. First, I would like to hear confirmation from you as a guard in Khmer Rouge period. I would like to know the factors which led you to be a soldier in Khmer Rouge period. Qu'est-ce qui vous a poussé à devenir soldat Khmer Rouge pendant la période des Khmer Rouge? The reason that I became a soldier in Khmer Rouge period was that there was a coup d'état on 18 March 1970. Un coup d'État le 18 mars 1970. There were demonstrations, there were protests at that time against the Lonnol regime, that is Khmer Republic regime. And there were dead people. A lot of that people uh, in Ang Tassam district. I was about 13 or 14 years old at that time. I was shocked and terrified. In 1973, in 1972 or 1973, I became a militiaman. After that, in 1974, I was sent to a unit in a district. And in 1975, I uh, was moved to a regional unit. And in 1977, I uh, became a soldier in Division 210, Regiment 13. All these factors uh, led me to become a soldier because of these sufferings. I could see people were killed, innocent people were killed. Thank you very much. Council, thank you very much. Could you clarify for the court during the time were you one among of the demonstrators uh, in Ang Tassam district or were you an onlooker at that time? Answer, I was young during that time, but I could visualize what happened in the area. Not only me saw so the incidents, uh, everyone uh, could see people uh, were killed and piles of dead body. Council, how many people uh, were killed at that time? Could you make an estimate? Answer, as for the demonstrator, who died uh, in the north Les of Ang Tassau Market, from what I estimate, from the figure I heard, uh, about 200 uh, demonstrators were injured and killed. And 200, about 200 uh, demonstrators uh, died at that time, and there were piles of a dead body. 
Council. Thank you very much. I would like to know about Krang Tachian. Could you tell me the specific dates or time uh, concerning the period that you were working in Krang Tachian? Les dates de la période à laquelle vous avez travaillé à Krangtachan. Document D125 slash 129, you are in Khmer, 00, 00 22, 22 47, 47 89, you are in English, 00, 00 23, 23 16, 74, 16, 74 French, is at 00, 00 23. 45, 45, 75. Allow me to quote from Cite. your own statement. Votre déposition. Quote. From 18 April 1975, I was asked to do the farming with the, the people to break the stones until the harvest season in 1977. Send me to uh, work in a guard unit at Krang Tachan office. I would like to know from you concerning the harvest season in 1977. Was it in a rainy season or was it in dry season at that time? Était-ce la saison sèche ou la saison des pluies? Answer. It was in rainy season. Saison des pluies. Wet rice farming during that time. On cultivait du riz de saison des pluies. Question. Could you clarify Question. for the courts? Was it in December or in January? Was it in January 1978 or was it in December 1977? Because uh, the harvest season may fall in December or January every year. Could you clarify at this point? Answer. Moment it, is it was between uh, December and January. Entre et I did not uh, remember the specific date. Or perhaps exact. it was on at the end of January, after the harvest season. Council, could you clarify a bit clearer for me if, if it were in December it uh, was in 1977, but if si you said it was in January, it is one year later. Si it was one year later. Janvier, that is uh, 1979. So, uh, if it was in December, it, is, it was in 1977. Again, could you clarify Donc, the court pourriez-vous dire whether it was in uh, December or January? Si c'était en décembre ou en janvier. I understand that uh, you said it was in uh, it was uh, from between 1977 and uh, December to January but Vous could you clarify was it in 1976 or was it en in 1977 ou en 77? Uh, president so uh, council could you repeat uh, your question because uh, you spoke uh, very fast. Council, thank you very much. I would like to hear clarification from uh, Mr. Witness in relation to the months that he stated. He I want to know whether it was in December 1976 or was it 
in January 1977. So, I uh, would like to know exactly whether Alors, it was in December 1976 or décembre was it in December 1977? December 1977. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I could not know the date or Et year exactly. And I could know only that it was in harvest season. I did not know whether it was in December or January. What I knew is that it was in harvest season. Council, to sum up. You Donc, si mentioned that it was in December 1976, and it was from December 1976 to January 1977. Is that correct? Answer. Uh, yes, that is correct. Réponse, c'est exact. Council, you stated yesterday about the time when you were at Krang Tachan. At first, uh, you were about one kilometer away from the, the center. Could you tell the court once again about the post that uh, you were stationed? You said you were in the west guarding. Could you tell the court how many members were there in your unit? You said you were uh, one kilometer away from the center. So how many members in your unit? Answer. As for the post, uh, I first uh, station. It was about uh, one kilometer away from the center. Le it was uh, close to a subsidiary road leading to route National Road Number Three. It was in the west part of that subsidiary road. When I was there, du côté ouest de cette route. we, we had uh, five or six members in our unit, and we built unité. a hall to stay in. Nous avons bâti and I did not know specifically what duty we would be assigned to do. Nous ne savions pas exactement quelles allaient être nos tâches. And after that, in rainy season or in transplanting, transplanting season, uh, we built a horse to stay in. And uh, there were six of us in the units, and we stayed there. Council, as for the six-man units, uh, were there any division into sub-units? You mentioned already that uh, uh, there was no chief or no commander in your unit, and uh, you were all on your mastery stance. I would like to know whether your units were divided into sub-units so that uh, you were on specific uh, assignments. Ici, chacun avait des tâches spécifiques. 
Our six man unit, there was no division into sub units. Uh, we uh, worked together and we uh, were in our hall day and night. During daytime, we would try to look for food uh, near our place, and uh, we did not go anywhere to a uh, gas. We stayed in our own place. Council, you mentioned already that in your hall uh, there was there was a small hill. If you happen to stand on a small hill, could you see uh, any forest uh, far away or nearby? Loin ou proche? Answer. Actually, it was not a dense forest. Uh, it was in the open field, and it was close to dense, villages and to people's houses. So it was a small hill, hill and uh, people could uh, do farming uh, surrounding that area. Council, you mentioned that there were villages nearby, so could you tell the courts uh, how far from your place to the village? Quelle était la distance qui vous séparait des villages? Answer, I did not know the names of uh, those villages. Je ne connaissais pas le nom de ces villages. I did not know also the distance from Je my place to those villages. Quelle était la distance qui m'en séparait? Council, could you clarify to the court how many villages were there de in the area from the place where you were stationed? Dans cette zone. Answer. I did not recall uh, those villages' names. I did not know those uh, villages. Council, could you clarify the numbers of uh, villages there? I understand that uh, you did not recall the names of those villages. So how many villages uh, were there in the area? Answer. I did not remember, and I did not also know the village where I was stationed in. Le nom de ces villages, et je ne connaissais pas ces villages. Council. In relation to the post uh, where you were stationed. Were there any vegetables farms or sugar farms there? Des fermes à sucre là où vous étiez posté. Answer. Uh, near my place, there were mango trees, there were banana trees. Il y avait des mangiers et des bananiers. And uh, I could see a few bananas uh, trees and a few mango trees and uh, when i uh, uh, when i was there uh, i could see that uh, the harvest uh, season uh, finished already council i want to know uh, the vegetable farms uh, far away from uh, your post uh, you you mentioned already that uh, you were one kilometer away from the center, so I would like to know the area, the uh, the place in that area. Were there any uh, trees, a banana tree, or mango tree in that area? As for the area between where I stationed and uh, the center, there was an 
all deserted uh, village and Il nobody was living there and of course there were some other vegetation including le centre, il y coconut avait trees de la végétation il y avait des cocotiers notamment it was an, an old village but there was uh, no village house sans maison and nobody was there it was Personne empty n'y vivait l'endroit était désert question Let uh, I move now to uh, your duties while you uh, were hosting at uh, the autres. outer Quand part of the Kandachan Center. Du centre de What was the main duty assigned to your unit? Quelles étaient les tâches principales de votre unité? Answer. Réponse. While we were posting there, the most important duty for us was to wait and to receive people who had been arrested from villages or communes. When those prisoners were brought to our post, then we would uh, poste, arrange amongst garde, our six of us to take those prisoners to the gate of the compound. Questioned. Question. Upon receiving those prisoners at where you were posting, ces prisonniers, how was the arrangement made? Can you elaborate a little bit further on this? Answer. Réponse. Once people who had been arrested from villages or, or communes, they were brought to our post les gens with their hands dans les tied behind their backs. Poste, they were walked to our uh, post. Ils vers notre uh, poste then de they garde. would deliver us a letter. À ce une lettre nous était and then we would take the letter Ensuite, and uh, walk. The prisoners to the gate, we handed over the letter and the prisoners to the guard at the gate, and then we left. We did not enter the compound. Question. Usually, how many of your unit members escorted prisoners to the gate? Escorted the prisoners vers the portail? Answer. Réponse. We made an arrangement amongst ourselves. Sometimes this person or that person would escort the prisoners to the gate. Les prisonniers vers le portail. Any of us could uh, do that uh, job. Chacun d'entre nous pouvait faire ce travail. And once we walked the prisoners there, we handed the letter and the prisoners to the guard at the gate Arrivé and we place, left. Nous remettions la lettre et les prisonniers. Au garde, Question. Et nous Do you say that any Question. of your Vous dites six members unit de could escort the prisoners? Was only one member, or were there two members escorted the prisoners at any uh, one point or at any one time? Y avait-il un seul membre de l'unité qui s'en chargeait, Answer. ou bien deux à la fois? If there was only one réponse. prisoner, then only one of us si would uh, escort him or her. Un seul nous And if there were two or three or si more, deux, then two or, or at least two of us would accompany them. So it varies depending on the Donc number of prisoners. De Question. You Question. stated that during the rice transplanting season, you moved from where you posted about one kilometer from the compound. You moved from where you posted about one kilometer from the compound through the west part of the gate of the compound. Pour gagner le portail Can you ouest tell the court the location of? the uh, buildings within the uh, compound how many main buildings were there 
du complexe et combien de bâtiments principaux y avait-il Answer. It seemed uh, there were no main buildings. Je ne pense pas qu'il y ait de bâtiments principaux. Buildings, Il y avait les bâtiments which des were made of wood with thatched roof. Qui étaient faits de And bois they were the main buildings. avec un toit en chaume. Ça, c'était les As for the principaux army bâtiments. Who there, Quant aux soldats they qui logeaient sur place, in a building ils with vivaient roof and a dans open un bâtiment ouvert in a hammock mais avec un toit de chaume et il dormait dans des hamacs. Question. My question, question. is for you uh, to provide details of the detention buildings. Je vous interroge sur In your les document D125/129 et in Khmer is at 00224792. And in French, 0023-4578. And in English, 0023-1677. Which is a sketch that you drew. And Mr. President, I seek your permission to hand this sketch to the witness. President, yes, you may do so. Au témoin, le président, je vous en prie. Question. Council. Uh, Mr. Witness, Veuillez could you please uh, review plan. that uh, sketch and on the top part In the middle, it's, it en reads haut, uh, the interrogation site, and then there were two main buildings to the east and to the west, which were noted as the prisoner buildings. Can you clarify how many prisoner buildings Combien were at Kantachan office while you were working there? Answer. Réponse. When I arrived, there were two arrivée, prisoners buildings. Il y avait deux one was located the near the uh, east, and the other one was uh, located near the west. Tonnier, and the thatch roof had uh, some holes in there. Le toit de they were not fully roof. Question. Question. Can you tell the court uh, further uh, conditions of the thatch roof? You just uh, stated about uh, some holes on the thatch roof. Can you provide more details, for example, on the walls and the conditions uh, of uh, all the material which was used to make uh, the buildings? Answer. The Réponse. buildings were made of wood Ces bâtiments étaient faits en bois, with wooden planks des uh, as bois walls qui and thatched roof. Les murs, et il y avait un toit de Each chaume. building is about Chaque bâtiment five meter wide and about seven meters long. Large et sept mètres de long. Question. Question. Were the two buildings of a similar size? Les deux bâtiments étaient-ils d'une taille similaire? Answer. Réponse. They were similar in size. Oui. Question. Question. How many prisoners could each building Combien house? Combien de prisonniers chaque bâtiment pouvait-il abriter? Answer. Réponse. Each building could accommodate between 50 to 60 prisoners. Entre 50 et 60 prisonniers. Question. Do you know Question. how the prisoners were housed or detained in each building? Dans quelles conditions les prisonniers étaient-ils détenus dans chacun de ces bâtiments? Answer. Prisoners Réponse. were shackled to Ils their ankles. They were put in a row 
and ils étaient placés en and then grand, they would use metal bar to une barre de métal them. était utilisée pour les enferrer. Questioned. Question. Did you see the marking of any buildings which had uh, later been disassembled, or were you told that there were other previous buildings before the two buildings uh, that you saw when you arrived? Est-ce que des bâtiments ont été démontés pour euh, construire ces deux bâtiments-là Savez-vous s'il y avait d'autres bâtiments auparavant uh, Je ne sais pas s'il y avait d'autres bâtiments auparavant. Je n'ai pas pu me déplacer pour inspecter le site et pour voir s'il y avait des vestiges uh, de bâtiments antérieurs. <coughs> Question. Question. I like now to turn to your specific duty when you were uh, moved to get closer vous était confié to the compound quand vous avez dû of Krantachian office. Plus près de du bureau de you already stated before this court that occasionally Selon vos dire, you were uh, asked to do the typing by Anne or Deutsch. C'était Anne ou Deutsch qui vous disait de le faire. Can you tell the court the main role that you perform when you when you were moved closer to Quand the office compound? Quand on vous a rapproché de l'enceinte du bureau, quelle a été votre occupation principale? Answer. Réponse. I have already responded to that question. Je l'ai déjà dit. The main duty of our six-man unit was of a military nature, and that was our main duty. Militaire. And over there, we provide the guard duty. Nous montions la garde. Question. Question. Can you explain to the court regarding uh, the role that uh, you perform as a typist to type the, the names of the list of prisoners and why were you assigned uh, such Pourquoi supplementary work or duty? Vous en outre chargé de dactylographier des listes de noms? Answer. Et en quoi consistait In exactement fact, cette approche uh, we were asked whether Réponse. any of us was uh, literate, nous a and I responded, si yes, I could read and Moi, write. Dit que oui. And there was a typed writer sitting there. I did not know how long it has uh, been there. Je ne sais pas depuis and combien de temps elle était sur place. Me I I knew how to si type, je and I responded, machine, yes. J'ai répondu que oui. Although my typing skill was uh, rather limited. that I could use uh, the typewriter to an extent. Que je pouvais, dans une certaine mesure, taper à la machine. Question. After you were Question. moved, to the district education office, vous avez donc été transféré au bureau d'éducation relevant du district. Can you inform the court how long were? Uh, How long were you posted closer to the uh, prison compound? Combien de temps êtes-vous resté en poste à proximité de l'enceinte de la prison? Answer. I uh, cannot recall the, uh, the exact time period that I 
plus move closer to God uh, near the compound. Passé à it was probably around six months. Ça a dû durer environ six mois. Because I left the, the office around effet, uh, late June or early July 1978. Question. You also stated about your uh, self mastery stance. Vous avez évoqué la position that is uh, when you responded to the question by my learner colleague. En répondant aux questions de mon confrère. You stated that you were assigned by Vous your commander. Que votre commandant to station at the Kantachan office and that you had to be self-mastery. Allow you to explain to the court what you meant when Quand you said that you, you had to have a self-mastery stance. Answer. Why, even when I were within Réponse. the army, every soldier or every one of us had to be self-responsible or self-mastery. We had to perform any duty assigned to chacun us, or we had to stand at wherever we uh, were assigned confié. to post. For example, if we were instructed to stay in a shelter or a building, si we had to remain there and not to wander around. And that's what I meant by self-mastery stance. Question. You also stated that Question. you did not know about the nature of work vous of other people and that you only minded your own work. Que vous ne vous occupiez que de votre propre travail. Can you explain to the court how did you perform your uh, work by only focusing on the uh, duties assigned to you? De quelle façon exactement est-ce que vous faisiez votre travail en ne prêtant pas attention Answer. au reste? Réponse. At that time, none of us could ask other members of the unit about the nature of the assignment. For instance, if I was assigned to do something si or to carry out a task, tel tel tâche, a second member of the unit would not be able to ask me what assignment was I given to do because that was my, my personal assignment and likewise I could not ask about the nature of the assignment for any of the members of the unit. Questioned. What would be the end result if uh, somebody violated that si principle? Avait ce principe que cela Answer. Causé? At that time, Réponse. we learned of a saying that Anka has eyes everywhere. And among the partout. six of us within the unit, Parmi if anybody, six, if anyone violated si the, the rule or the principle, principle, the person would be removed from the unit or would be punished. De ou and that was unavoidable in particular for a soldier. Surtout pour un soldat. And that soldier would not be spared. Ce soldat n'aurait pas été the principle or the rule. s'il avait enfreint ce principe. Question. 
you also stated that Mr. during the time that uh, you were stationed at Kantachan, none of your commanders came to uh, visit you. Lorsque vous étiez and en poste à Krangtachan, aucun de vos commandants n'est venu vous visiter pour vous visiter. You by Et your director, military commanders. c'est par les commandants militaires directs que and vous aviez reçu the vos consignes. Chief of the office, vous avez dit que les chefs du bureau de Krangtachan ask you to do a specific job. Ne pouvez vous charger que Can you explain to the précise. court, since we are not clear as to Je what pas bien you saisi. refer to the, the instructions from your military commander and the vous request to perform a specific task by the chief of the prison office? Militaire, d'une part, et d'autre part, des consignes données par les and chefs de prison En vue des bien yes, précises. there is a distinction Il y a in the, the une true words. Entre les deux. One was the instruction, une and one was uh, just to use for a specific task. Et part, il y avait des the instruction is uh, relayed from your uh, superior. But when you ask to perform something, Mais si on nous de faire it, has, chose, it has not to be from your direct superior, it could be from uh, somebody, because it, it was like you were on loan un peu to comme perform si a, a specific task. Pour, uh, de telle ou telle tâche. So, I, I only received the, the orders or the instructions Je from my direct military commanders. Que de mon chef militaire direct. Questioned. Question. What instructions were you given when you uh, were moved Quelles instructions avez-vous reçu from the outer part to the closer part of the compound? Quand on vous a transféré were de the instructions la involved uh, in assigning you to watch uh, the prisoners or to uh, do other uh, tasks ou de faire autre chose within the uh, compound itself? Au sein de l'enceinte Answer When we uh, were moved to the uh, closer uh, part of the compound our uh, main assignment uh, was to guard the compound due to the large number of prisoners Le complexe, and that vu le was the instruction from my uh, commander les from my military commander par mon chef militaire. So again, our guard duty involves uh, guarding the, the compound and not to allow any prisoners to escape. Le and also uh, to uh, secondly provide uh, security to the uh, prison staff. Assurer la sécurité du personnel de la prison. Question. Was the instruction Question. from your military commander or was it from the chief of uh, Krangtachan office, or namely du bureau Ta'an or Deutsch? Krangtachan et de son chef, à savoir Ta'an ou Deutsch. Answer. It was from my military uh, commander. Réponse de mon commandant militaire. Question. Question. In relation uh, to contact with uh, the end or with cadres or prison staff uh, of the office, contact avec ta was ou there any specific, specific instruction from your military uh, commander in relation uh, to uh, making contact with the prison staff? Answer, no. Réponse, no. There was no such instruction. Je n'ai reçu aucune instruction de ce type. Question. Question. I'd like now to uh, talk again about the prisoners' buildings. Au bâtiment des prisonniers. In document E3 slash five five two two. Question answer thirty three. Réponse trente trois. A witness named Pan Chun, Chun states uh, the following. A dit ceci. 
the building was about 50 to 60 meters wide. Le bâtiment environ 50 à 60 mètres de large. And about 90 to 100 meters Et long. 90 ou 100 mètres de long. On the contrary, you just stated vous, that en revanche, vous venez de dire the, the prison compound was about uh, que 200 de la square meters. Faisait environ 200 mètres carrés. Can you uh, tell the, the court uh, the, the, the discrepancies in your Comment statement and the statement made by this uh, witness? vous cette discordance entre vos propos et la déposition de l'autre témoin? Answer. Can you be more specific? Uh, you, do you précis. refer to the actual land plot? Faites-vous référence à cette I refer parcelle de terre? To the size la of the Je compound. fais référence à la taille du complexe. The witness. Le témoin. As to the 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 size of the compound which was about four Le hectares in total. That is the overall size. Au total. Although this is my estimation, it could be a bit more or less. Ce serait peut-être un peu plus ou un peu moins. Question. Question. Can you tell the court again about the roof of the two buildings? Revenons au toit des deux bâtiments. Answer. The roof was oui, made from thatch. Le toit était en chaume. Counsel, from which leaves? Question. Question from which leaf? An answer is from uh, palm tree leaves. Avec des feuilles de quel arbre? Réponse avec des feuilles de palmier. Council, uh, Mr. President, I'd like to uh, give this document to the uh, witness with your permission. Témoin, si vous President, le what document, uh, Council? De quel document s'agit-il? Is there a document ID? Pouvez-vous en donner la cote? Council, la yes, it is. Oui. But because I uh, extract this one from a document with the uh, signature of uh, Ta'an. document, lequel extrait porte la signature President, de Ta'an. If there is the case, uh, you can proceed. Allez-y. La défense. Council. This is an extract from. C'est un extrait. Document E3-4104, EN 00, 27, 01-36. And as this doc document is a, a copy from the uh, Khmer version. There is no English uh, translation. Il pas de and another document is E3-4098, Khmer EN is 1031. And there is no translation Ce of this doc, doc, document. Pas. And the third document uh, is E3 slash 2421. Ian in Khmer is 00 27 77. And the fourth document, document. is. E3 slash 2434 and EN in Khmer is 00 27 07 77. 
I would like to focus on the signature of Anne on these four doc de Anne documents. Mr. Documents. Witness, during the time that you worked at the Kranatachan office with Anne, Anne, for instance, that you assisted him in uh, typing exemple, the documents, did you machine? ever see the signature of Anne at that time. I only saw uh, his name when he uh, signed the document with his name, and also uh, I saw uh, Dutch name when he signed the document. Question, can you uh, tell the court again, did you see Anne's signature during the time that you worked at the Kantachan office? Answer, yes, I did. Oui, répondez témoin. Question, question. And do you still remember his signature? Vous souvenez-vous de sa signature? Answer. I uh, cannot remember his signature, Réponse. but Je ne me souviens pas de sa signature. I remember when the, the word uh, end when he wrote next to his signature. Je m'en rappelle dans la mesure question. où son nom let me clarify uh, with you. You Question. saw an signature, but you Donc, simply cannot recall Anne, uh, vous ne vous the form pas. of that signature. Am I correct? Vous ne vous pas de la forme de Answer, de that is signature. correct. Réponse, est exact. Question. Can you uh, look at the documents that I just uh, handed to you? Can you uh, confirm whether the four signatures on the four separate documents are similar to and signatures that you saw at the time? Answer. Réponse. I saw the uh, the signature. Vu les I cannot say they are identical, but they look Je similar. And as always, semble, semble he wrote his name and next et to his signature. signature. Thank you, and uh, Mr. President. I'd like now to hand another document uh, to the uh, witness that is E3 slash 1007. President, uh, Council, your time has expired. President, may I seek just one more minute, Mr. President? President, yes, you can proceed. Council, uh, Mr. Uh, witness, could you look at uh, the red circle on that document? Can you tell the court whether there is Anne's signature? Pourriez-vous dire si c'est la signature de Anne? Uh, my apology, uh, the EAN of uh, the relevant uh, page in Khmer is uh, 000 Uh, 
This is the example of the signature, and there is no translation of this document. Il a pas de uh, Mr. Witness, uh, can you respond to my question? Monsieur le témoin, pourriez-vous donc répondre à ma question? President. Le président Council, uh, can you confirm the document uh, ID again? Redonner le numéro de l'IRN et le numéro de la code du document, s'il vous plaît. So that uh, we can make a proper uh, transcript of the record. Council, the document ID is E3 slash 2107. And uh, Mr. Witness, could you uh, look at the signature on the document that I uh, delivered Témoin. to you? That is the, the, the first batch of the document. Signature. And the, this, the document that I have just given to you, whether the signature is uh, the same? Si la même? Answer. I uh, cannot uh, tell you about the signature Je in the red circle as I cannot uh, recognize it. Council, I don't have any further questions, Mr. Uh, President. And it is our view that on uh, the issue of the signature, we request the chamber to do a forensic analysis of uh, this uh, document in order to confirm the signature. President. Mr. Sreiton, the Chamber Sreiton, is grateful for your time and testimony and of course uh, your testimony will contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case and the time is now concluded for uh, your testimony and you are now excused so that you can return to your residence or wherever uh, you wish to go to and we wish you a safe journey and court officer uh, in collaboration with WISU please assist the necessary uh, transportation of Mr. Sreiton to his uh, place of residence or wherever he be said to go to and the chamber also uh, thanks the duty council I note that the international lead co-lawyer for civil parties on her feet you may proceed President and Mr. Witness and the duty council, you may now leave the, the room. Oh, you may just uh, wait for a little while. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Une, une courte observation you, qui ne concerne short, pas ce témoin, uh, simplement pour indiquer à la Chambre que, sauf erreur, nous n'avons pas reçu la liste de documents de l'équipe de Nguyen Chia, la fameuse liste de documents des 752 documents qui avaient été uploadés uh, dans l'interface pour le prochain témoin. Uh, si j'avais bien compris ce qui s'est uh, dit uh, hier, L'équipe de Nguyen Chia aurait dû well, nous fournir une liste de documents que, sauf erreur de notre part, nous n'avons pas reçu. And, uh, donc voilà, je voulais simplement le mentionner à la Chambre et chamber uh, indiquer à la Chambre que pour nous, en tout cas, du côté des partis civils, lorsque vous uh, réfléchirez à la, that, uh, à la note générale que vous êtes en train de, de rédiger sur l'utilisation de l'interface, il est important pour uh, nous que nous recevions les documents it is important for us to receive the documents temps de passage uh, before, uh, et non pas que nous les recevions we, uh, avant can, le temps de passage uh, de la défense. Witnesses, uh, nous souhaiterions avoir accès aux like documents quand on utilise la défense uh, dans le cadre de notre préparation de, uh, de l'examen de du témoin ou de la partie civile dont nous When, avons la responsabilité. Uh, Je vous remercie. Uh, the witness or the, uh, civil party.
President, uh, any uh, comments to make by Nunchi's defense? Le président, est-ce que la défense In de fact, uh, we, the chamber already uh, takes note of that, and the uh, defense team for Nunchi, if you wish uh, to respond Nunchi, to uh, si that répondre, comment, you may proceed. Uh, yes, Mr. President. Um, oui, Monsieur le président. Just to be very clear. We didn't upload uh, 700 plus documents. We uploaded about um, 200 documents. That's uh, because the rest is translation in three languages. Um, we uploaded 138 documents which are Trump Cock district records, documents that civil parties should know by now. We uploaded um, nine documents of the previous witness and nine documents about the next witness. Uh, we uploaded eight Krang Tachan identification reports. We uploaded um, written uh, records of uh, investigation of uh, five prisoners and of six cadres. Uh, we uploaded another uh, three statements of uh, additional witnesses, including the one that I referred to yesterday. These are so roughly around 200 documents. Uh, this counts for about 600 uh, documents in translation. It seems that uh, the remaining number is uh, because of some flaws in the system. It takes a while to upload them, and then the, the system apparently asks again. So all in all, uh, 200 extremely relevant documents for both the previous witness and for this witness, uh, documents, uh, again, that uh, the civil parties and, and surely the prosecution should know by heart. So uh, we have not uploaded anything uh, extraordinary, uh, we have not did anything, done anything to... Uh, well, I don't, know to, I don't know the English word, to screw the system. Um, we have been completely in good faith. Uh, these are extremely relevant documents, and as of this moment, we are not able to decide exactly which of the Trump Cock district records we will uh, put before uh, this uh, next witness. So, um, uh, a last remark is that I uh, deeply resent any suggestions that we have been acting in bad faith, and I would like to clear this picture uh, uh, right now. Vraiment, très déçu de toutes ces allégations par rapport à la mauvaise foi dont j'aurais fait preuve. President, just friends, you can proceed. If you tell us why, if you're in good faith, you obviously violated the clear order of the court, because yesterday there was an order following a request by, I believe it was the prosecutor, to identify the relevant parts. I don't remember you objecting in any way. And this morning, you just argued did you put documents on the case file, or, sorry, on the interface? This isn't the point. There was an order yesterday. You were aware of it. Why didn't you comply? Because the, the 200 documents that we put on the interface are the documents that we possibly might use for the next witness. So if we can repeat whatever is uh, uh, uploaded on the interface. Um, but um, it might be worth remembering that um, we don't have that much staff as the prosecution or uh, even the capacity to just send an email repeating all those 200 documents. We simply are unable to. So the situation is that we have uploaded 200 very relevant documents and that we intend to use them possibly uh, with the next witness. That's the situation. Hello. President, uh, President. Council uh, Coupe, Maître Coupe, can you inform the chamber during the time that you uh, question uh, next uh, witness that uh, a, a party is given only 
a morning session or in your case maybe an afternoon session and whether you will use all those 200 plus uh, documents that you uploaded on the interface will you use all those documents again mr president this is not our witness the next witness is we are not doing the examination in chief we are relying on his answers and his answer might give us give rise to us to use one of those 138 trump district documents for uh, the whole point is uh, not to confuse anybody. These documents are very well known. Everybody should have read them by now. And uh, we would like to have the opportunity to confront the next witness with documents from the Trump district records. Uh, the same goes for the, the, the statements of the prisoners in Krang Tachan. The same goes for uh, cadres uh, within Krang Tachan. So that's w the liberty that we should have. And uh, if you want to have an email repeating exactly those uh, 200 documents, then fine. But uh, I don't really see the point of it. President, let uh, both of you uh, be on your feet uh, one after another, and now you just decide which one to go first. Let's do it now. President, une courte réaction. Je ne peux pas laisser dire ou faire sous-entendre que nous ne connaîtrions pas les documents relatifs à Trump et à Le problème ici, ce n'est pas de savoir si nous avons connaissance de ces documents, si nous travaillons ces documents. Le problème est de savoir comment nous utilisons l'interface et comment les parties euh, échangent les documents qu'ils vont And utiliser à l'audience. C'est ça le problème. Que chacun fasse son travail de son côté, rassurez-vous, confrères, nous le faisons. Et ce n'est absolument pas votre problème de nous dire si nous faisons ou non notre travail. Mais le problème, c'est que nous avons une interface, nous avons un principe du contradictoire à respecter, nous devons être notifiés à l'avance des documents qui vont être utilisés par les autres parties, compte tenu de l'énorme volume de documents contenus dans ce dossier. Donc la Chambre, à un moment, va devoir se positionner. Est-ce que nous considérons que, à la Proche de chaque position. début de segment, so should we consider tous les documents relatifs à ce segment segment, sont considérés comme relevant to that segment et placé devant la Chambre, et dès lors les parties pourront s'y référer sans que nous soyons notifiés à l'avance, ou est-ce que nous gardons l'ancien système par lequel, systématiquement, nous téléchargeons sur l'interface 48 heures à l'avance les documents que nous entendons utiliser lors de l'examen de tel témoin ou de telle partie Il va bien évidemment s'en dire que lorsque nous connaissons les documents qui sont potentiellement utilisés par la Défense, nous préparons nous-mêmes nos questions de manière différente. Et c'est exactement la même chose pour la défense. À partir du moment où nous sommes au courant des documents qui sont éventuellement utilisés par une partie ou l'autre, cela fait intrinsèquement partie de la façon dont nous préparons notre stratégie à l'audience. Et c'est tout le but de l'interface. Raison pour laquelle nous vous demandons encore une fois de clarifier cette situation pour que nous soyons beaucoup plus au clair lors des prochains segments. <clears throat> Let me echo that, Mr. President. The point is, here is not whether we're familiar with the, these documents. We are, of course. The point is that the interface is a means to give good faith notice to the court and the other parties of the documents you intend to use in the examination of a witness. Um, counsel cannot possibly, in good faith, believe he is going to use 200 documents. As we saw yesterday, after posting probably the exact same documents, if we checked, he used only 15. Um, tous les documents qui ont this is simply not good faith. Internet, this is subterfuge trying to hide the documents they're used. If counsel thinks this is good faith, he doesn't understand what that means. President, 
And this issue, the chamber already received a request and submissions from concerned party parties since uh, yesterday, uh, since last week. And due to the complexity and the sheer scope uh, of the case, the uh, chamber actually issued an instruction or decisions in case 002 slash 01. And we are now trying to see what kind of the uh, paragraphs of that decision are still applicable to the current case and what additions should uh, be made. And in fact, uh, we have drafted it already, and it takes a, a little bit of time for the bench to deliberate on it, probably during this weekend. And for that reason, we try uh, to minimize any impact during this time before uh, the testimonies of the witness here before this court until the time that we issue our decision. Anyhow, the time is now uh, appropriate for a lunch break, and we will take a break now and uh, return at uh, 1.30 to hear the testimony of a witness to TCW 852. And Security personnel, you are instructed to take his pawn to the waiting room downstairs and bring him back into the courtroom before 1.30. The court is now in recess.